Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. Stoked to bring you another lesson. We're going to go uh, Strat style here. Uh, some real nice little riffs, chili peppers obviously. I've always got a bunch of exclusive stuff that I give to you. All you got to do is check out the link below this box. A lot of free stuff. I always appreciate it. So let's get to the lesson. All right, so I'm going to just teach you as many of these little things as I can. We've got uh, this little intro thing and it's going to be the 5 to the 7 on the A string. And I'm kind of as you build it you, there is kind of a some bending some sour bending involved. So this first note is going to be the seventh fret of the A string. And then we go over to seven on the G. See that? So check it out. Or the very first one goes. It's only two right off the bat, but you're going from. Then. And so there's some, I've seen different, the second note of the descending thing, I've seen it taught a few different ways. I've seen the open D string. I've seen tabs where it's that. And using my ear, I've, you know, developed it right there too. I think the easiest way is going to be the fifth on the A string. So you're on the seventh. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four, back to. So here's what we got. Or. Seven on the E, and once I go to this, then I'm going to use my index finger. Although Frushanti, I th uh, Frushanti uses his uh, thumb, I believe, on a lot of his chords, just like Jimi Hendrix. A lot of players out there can't do that. It's not the most comfortable thing for me to do. Um, so I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would like to be able to do it without their thumb. And I would just put my index finger there. <laughs> Just like that. So let's do it from the top. Just a half step up, same riff here. And it's going to go from that and the mix was a little hard to hear this third note, but I believe it's two on that, two on that, which is the top again. So. some different fingers on the bass notes. It's just whatever is 
whatever's handy. Uh, get it? So. All right, so check this out. There's you kind of, uh, there's a lot of string muting. So it's a good idea, and this is something that just evolved with my playing, but you can kind of, whatever fingers you're not using on the notes, the rest of your fingers are kind of just lightly, gently pressing on the strings to get a mute sound. So what I'm doing there is my index finger, the very tip of it's right there, and I'm cupping everything. And I just kind of let my fingers off. And I'm hitting that note, but the rest of my index finger is still. In fact, it's muting every string. It's even muting this top one with the very tip of my index finger there. It's muting that top string as well. So I'm strumming all the strings there and only hearing that note. And that's part of your development as an electric guitar player is through muting is so key. And it, uh, you know, I, I think it's neglected a lot. I know it was by myself when I was learning to play. And it's just kind of over time I've gotten better with it. But so you've got this kind of idea where your, your hand's kind of cupping and muting at, uh, at all times. So you get some of that, that string noise in there. It's a little thicker sounding. And you know, in more groove-oriented guitar playing, it's really important for that as well. So even when I'm going, I'm actually using my index and my pinky, and because the rest of my fingers are kind of touching the string, so I can. And it, you know, like I said, it takes some developing, but so. So eventually, it does that. All right, so as you're progressing through, you finally get to a C major 7 chord. And there's some kind of shortcut ways to play it. But the basic chord is like this. And so what that is, is it's uh, the pinky on the 10th fret of the D, and then you just go up the staircase. And then you can wrap your thumb around this bass note here and enough to mute the A string as well. So that's the full. The full way. Now you could. You could forget the E and A string altogether. You could even forget the D string and just play this little piece. And that'll work. That's the full chord. That'll work, especially if you're playing with other members. Or a full C, uh, well, eighth fret bar chord will work too. So instead of that last move, it goes to that C major seven. And then we go into the chorus, which is um, a G chord to a D chord. And I'm gonna play them like this, I believe. You know, you've got this kind of F shape with your thumb you could do. Uh, I'm gonna keep it like this, bar chord. Then a D major chord, which you could go all the way up to the 10th fret. Or you could play that D major right here. That's how I'm gonna do it. Then a B minor bar chord up to C major. But instead of playing that C major, you could play what's called C major seven, that. 
which is a fancy kind of C major chord. So you got. So that last one. And then there's this like reggae bridge and it does do some alternate kind of chord voicing. We're running out of time here, but we're going to basically take and he does alternate some of the voicings, but it's a um, E minor bar chord. Down a whole step, but major. So it's this flat one. Then that B minor up to C major. Very similar to the, you know, it's it's the same chords as the verse, but just like a one and two and three and four and 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 all right that was the lesson hope you had fun hope you learned something you can maybe use this for your arsenal you know how that goes anyway i appreciate the support very much and uh, we'll talk to you guys real soon oh give it give it give it give it oh.